Brandon Northwick here, and I wanted to ask you, how is it that you can lower your resistance level with each of your buyers? How is it that you can condition them to actually be more open to hearing about your pitch and buying more often? Well, there's a couple things I want to share with you today, and the first thing that we want to start off with is the most important campaign that any business can be running right now. Uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, this was not the case. The audience building aspect really wasn't as a big deal as it is now with the social media aspects and the way that people are actually searching for new products and solutions online. So what we want to do is focus your very first campaign on audience building. Okay, This is going to be a series of videos that you can break down into like milestone videos, meaning that if you were to think about where your market's at, your ideal market, your ideal prospect within that market, where, where are they at right now? And can you walk them through a point A to a point B? Well, within that walkthrough of you know demonstrating you can help them from point A to point B, there's got to be specific action steps that you could lay out for them. Those specific action steps, guess what you just did? Those are your videos. Start to launch those videos on a weekly basis to people who are in a specific you know demographic to your market and start to run those advertisements to them from your business page, okay? That's going to start to build up your audience. This is a great way for you just to get content out there and to see what it is that your market's going to respond the best to. This is just a testing purpose and it's a branding purpose so that people can start to see your message, hear your message, and feel like they can start to know you. Once you have that going, okay, we're going to then transition to campaign B. Now, moving from campaign A to campaign B, it's not like going from cold to warm traffic or cold to hot traffic. We're going from cold to a little bit less cold, meaning that these people haven't done anything with us. They watched a couple of our videos, but that's about it. And you're going to set up a, a pretty cool sequence to make sure that only the right people are seeing these videos in each campaign. Then when you get to campaign B, this is going to be used for both cold traffic, meaning people who had not watched your videos, as well as a little bit less than cold traffic, which are people who have watched your videos. So that's going to be your first test here. But this is going to be your lead magnet. So when you gave them a bunch of cool stuff here, video one, two, three, four, even just delivering this content, this goodwill every single day, weeks on end now, now we're going to go ahead and put them through what we call a lead gen process. Now we're going to be promoting this lead magnet, which is more cool stuff, right, based on what it is that your topics were about, except for this time we're going to ask for an email in exchange, okay? This time we're actually going to say, you know what, here's some cool stuff for you, but can you do me a favor? Give me your name and your email, right, and let me go ahead and follow up with you so that you can get some more cool stuff in the future as well. And so now we have lead magnet one, two, three, and four. Now a way that you can do this to make sure that you're maximizing your time is take the data from these videos, and whichever video performed the best, Make some lead magnets around that topic. Your market's telling you that they like that topic. Your market's telling you they want more help here. Why not just give them that help, right? Pretty cool, pretty easy. Then we want to move down to campaign number C. Now you can see here, here's where we're moving finally from cold to warm. Now we know they've been watching our videos. We know they've been opting in. We know they've been engaging. Since that's the case now, they, they, they're pretty familiar with your name now. They're pretty familiar with what you have to offer. So now we want to give them an actual offer. Can we sell to them? Yes, we can. We've earned that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out, well, how do we want to package this? We want to have one, two, three, four different angles. And like I said, these are minimums. So when you look at this, don't go, oh, why don't we have to do four? No, that's the minimum that you want to do. So when you're looking about how to actually uh, package these offers, package them in a, in a few different angles. You can come at it from an angle of like us against them. You can come at it from an angle of, you know, like the, the biggest hoax of all time. You can come at it from an angle of just a direct pitch, like a direct sell. So you can have a bunch of different angles you want to test, but make sure you're testing them. Then what we want to do is move into campaign B. Now, when we're moving from campaign C to D, you can see that these are like really warm leads to now these are really hot leads. These are buyers, right? These are retargeting people with upsells, with new offers and things like that. So what we want to do is have new offer one, new offer two, new offer three, and new offer four. So when you have all of these campaigns working for you in sync with one of another, piggybacking, a piggying back, however you want to say that, piggybacking off of each other, that is going to be a great time for you now to be able to sit back and see where it is that needs the most help, right? Because you're building up an audience, you're warming them up, you're giving them more cool things for them to actually build that relationship with you, then you're giving them an offer and then you're maximizing that lead with new upsells and things like that. So by the time they get to this point, even by the time they get to this point, you've already been so cool to them. You've already been that person that says, look, 
You're, you're, you're looking for this as a solution? Here, I'm going to give it to you. Oh, you're looking for this solution? Here, I'm going to give it to you. And you're just constantly giving more value than anybody else is. That, that, that relationship you're going to build with the people who are actually engaging and consuming your content is going to be stronger than anything you might ever imagine. So what I want you to do next is if you would like more help with how to put this together and you want more in-depth training on what each of these mean and how to actually do it side by side, click by click, I want you to click the link or the button around this video. It's going to take you to a short letter where it's going to explain more about my newest online academy called the Do Whatever It Takes Academy. It's got over 110 private or 110 lessons in there. It's a private training group on Facebook. We got customized lessons you can go ahead and submit to our staff. You have all kinds of great things that can happen. We have two monthly meetings. We have uh, pop-up sessions that happen live with our members. You cannot escape the fact that this is the only interactive, 100% interactive training site online. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want that side-by-side -side help without paying those high, high, high ticket consultation service fees, then click the link of the button around this video, check out that letter, and activate your free 14-day trial into the Academy today. I'll see you on the inside.